Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to do parallel computing using Open Form. So when we run any case in Open Form, generally it will be running in series. So when I mean series, uh, all the calculations which is done on the mesh, which we call as the solution to the CFD, is done using one single processor of your CPU. So when you open your task manager and go to this location and click on your CPU, you can see that your uh, CPU has around uh, multiple cores. In my PC, it's eight. For your processor, it might be slightly less or more. But the point is, it has more than two cores in general, at least two cores in general. And the logical processor is nearly twice the number of cores. So this is like a general notion. It could be uh, less than twice also, but that's a general notion. So when we run anything in open form or anything in your computer, it generally runs in series, which means it uses one of your processor. Uh, let's say here I have changed the view, like the view, uh, usually it will be in overall utilization, but I have changed it to logical processors. So I can see how much of my CPU is consumed by each of the processor. So here you can see this is CPU 0, 1 and so on till CPU 15. So 0 to 15 is 16. That's the logical processor. So when we use uh, OpenFOAM by default, it will be running using either of the 16 CPUs or basically there are only eight physical cores. So the top eight. So it will be running cases in the top eight uh, course so either of them one or two it will have the scheduling it can switch between the processor all that but at any given moment it will be using only one processor but this is not efficient instead what we can do is we will split the mesh and give it to all the different processors let's say there are eight processor here so i will give to all eight physical cores and everything will do the calculation in parallel so if we have a domain entire domain that entire domain will be split into eight parts and each part will be computed by one processor so by this we are running things in parallel so we will get the result faster okay so instead of running in one core if i run in eight cores then it's almost eight times faster right not exactly eight times faster in terms of wall clock time i mean it's more like eight times faster in a technical sense so that's what we are going to see how to do so for that uh, there are multiple methods like a processor comes with something called mpi so it's called message passing interface through which the parallel computing is generally done so parallel computing is done uh, when you are doing video editing or if you are uh, you know gaming so everywhere parallel computing is done that's why cpus have multiple cores so we will see how to use that and perform open form simulation that mpi is also installed when you install open form uh, so to configure that we have a file called uh, decompose paradigm that's what we are going to look at now so i have a basic pitch daily case here so this pitch daily case is what we are going to use to see how decomposing is done and how to run in parallel. So this is basic pitch daily case. So we have the general block mesh and decompose paddock everything. So I will open my WSL in this location. Okay. So I have zero constant and system in the pitch daily case. The basic thing is block mesh. So now this block mesh is what we are going to split into eight parts and we will be uh, doing the calculation in parallel right so first i will open the mesh in para dot form i mean the para view so we can see the mesh okay i will go to surface with edges so this is the mesh we have and here if i go to feature edges uh, i mean you will not be able to see anything so i will just quickly Go to the default settings with okay so now you can see that this is like a one entire chunk of the mesh so under the mesh we, we are having multiple uh, cells and nodes right so now what we are going to do is we are going to decompose this entire thing into eight equal parts for my processor so for that I am opening the decompose paradigm file if this decompose paradigm file is not available 
then you can just copy it from any case I have copied this from the motorbike case you can go into tutorials folder then search for decompose product in your uh, file manager then you can just copy paste anything and you can set it up so this has to be under your system folder so I have pasted it there once I open you can see something like this so the number of subdomains is where you have to put this value the course right so this course has to be used these are the physical course so you have to use the physical course here so in my processor it is 8 so I am putting as 8 now the method is mentioned as hierarchical actually there are multiple methods to do so you can look at this documentation open form documentation for parallel okay so if you go here uh, they have mentioned how you, you can run what is the command and how to do the number of subdomains what are the methods and all so you can see there is hierarchical and uh, there is also a method called scotch which we will see now and there is also another thing called simple so there are many methods of uh, decomposing now we will just see three hierarchical simple and scotch which is the most used ones so in the number of subdomains I have changed it to 8 because I have 8 processor if you have less or more you have to enter it there then the method is hierarchical for now right so in the coefficients I am going to put three values this is the number of subdomains in each direction so uh, previously it was 6 so when you multiply 3 times 2 times 1 you are getting 6 right so that's what the general notion is you have to multiply x times y times z and you will be getting the number of subdomains so now I have a processor count of 8 so I can even go up to uh, 4 2 1 so it will be 8 so that is one method or if you uh, this is a 2d case so I am having z direction in 1 if I have a 3d case then I might be putting 2 2 2 so it's up to you on how to decompose it right so after you've done setting up the decompose product file the next thing which you have to do here is you have to run the decompose part so you have to remember for running the decompose par command there has to be a mesh already block mesh or snappy hex mesh anything this method will work even for snappy hex mesh even if you import mesh from Maxis fluent that is fine all that you have to ensure is that you have poly mesh folder and there is some sensible mesh inside that that is all that you have to know and ensure after I uh, do the meshing then I can do the decompose par so you can see that this is decomposing everything from pro, uh, decomposing all the mesh and setting it to processor 0 to 8 uh, actually it is 0 to 7 uh, then it's like 8 processor and it is also transferring all the fields so the field transfer is basically or uh, taking all the files from the 0 folder and putting it here so you can see open any of the processor folders and you can see there is zero and constant under constant we have the poly mesh but this poly mesh is assigned only to the exact processor so that is what we are able to see here like this we have eight processors now we will see how the decomposing has been done so instead of the parallel foam reconstructed case here i am changing it to decompose case and i'll click on apply you would say nothing has changed because the mesh remains the same right but if I go here and change it to feature edges you can see that there are actually eight blocks so this is how your mesh has been changed you can see when we gave uh, coefficients as 4 to 1 which means in x direction it is split into four paths 1 2 3 and 4 and in the y direction it has been split into two paths so this is taken care by the processor itself like how much I mean the algorithm itself like how much mesh has to be there in each of the processor if you go here and see every processor has more or less the same number of cells right so this is taken care of by the algorithm itself we don't have to worry much then the methodology to run the case in parallel is this command mpi run space hyphen np then the number of processors it's same as the number of subdomains so in this case it's 8 then it's the process uh, this case has been copied from simple form so I will put simple form space hyphen parallel so when I just hit enter this case will start running in parallel so let it converge you can see that uh, it has taken around 4 clock time seconds and uh, the solution has been converged right now we will do another method of uh, decomposing which is the scotch method which is like simple uh, I mean it's much simpler but there is also another thing called simple 
you can just replace this word with simple and uh, basically keep the coefficients also so this is like a different type of decomposition different algorithm you can also try that but now i am going to cover the scotch scotch method so i will go change this to scotch and for the scotch you don't actually need these parameters the algorithm itself will take care how much to divide like you have mentioned it if it's like 2d then it will keep the z direction as 1 then subdivide x and y all that will be taken out care of by the algorithm so you don't have to worry now i will delete all of these okay then now the case is like fresh um, okay, i will also delete the polymesh just in case okay now you can remember that this took four seconds now i will uh, run the block mesh again the block mesh is done again i will decompose using the decompose par okay, now again i can run the same command to run it in parallel right now it is running in parallel let it converge see it again took four seconds because it's the same case it's the same decomposing it's running in parallel it has the same mesh so regardless of the method you use the time is going to remain the same and you can see that there is slight change on how the decomposing has been done because of the algorithm you can uh, notice right one two three four five six seven eight earlier this was like up and down but now it has been changed so this is one method on uh, scotch so the scotch algorithm will take care on how to decompose so this is one method now we will actually compare with the amount of time that it will take for running it in series now i will delete all the processor folders i will also remove the post processing folder and i will remove the polymesh folder okay so earlier it took 4 seconds now let's see in series how long it takes the block mesh is done to run it in series all i have to know is just run it in simple form now let's wait for the algorithm to run okay now it took 6 seconds so when i meant like 8 times faster technically it is supposed to be 8 times faster right but it's not because there is some um, message passing happening and all so technically the parallel is parallel computing is running 8 times faster but it won't appear on the clock time it will be slightly faster all the time but it need not be exactly 8 times faster just because you use 8 processor okay so the number of cores will uh, increase the speed the amount of ram you have will also increase the speed so all that is there now to visualize the mesh there is one thing right now i'll go to parallel form and uh, then i can go to the last time step because there is this is the converged one i'll go to velocity now we are just simply seeing the result right because it is in reconstructed case method now let us assume that i am not running the case in series but i am running it in parallel okay now the case has been completed we have all the files now if i try to open the para view file and click on okay. i'll click on apply then if i see that there are no fields right we don't have the u we don't have the v nothing is there uh, but how do we get it so one method is you just change it to decompose the case click on apply and you will have everything you can go to the last time step and click on any field values you will get it so that is like one method which you can do to get the reconstructed result by choosing decompose case here but if you want to like see it reconstructed then all you have to do is go here and type reconstruct par hit enter now this will reconstruct all the time fields which are there i mean if you go to the processor we have 100 200 and 292 so all these will be reconstructed now this will be there now you can just remove all the processor files because those are not needed anymore right now we have this 100 200 and 
so I will now open the Paraview file and you can see that we have all the velocity fields, pressure fields in the reconstructed case itself. So this is like the method where you have to do reconstruction or you just see the decomposed case to view the results. So this is all about the parallel computing for open form. So actually the parallel computing can also be done for uh, running the mesh for snappy hex mesh. So in snappy hex mesh, the block mesh will act as the background mesh. And then the snappy hex mesh is a process which happens on the block mesh. So we can do parallel computing even for snappy hex mesh. So that I will I will be teaching later. So for now, this is the method through which we can run parallel computing.